Watch out! could stand to improve some things. Man spends his whole life learning. Not a witcher, unless he doesn't want to live long. But more on that later. Take the Griffin's head to the Black Ones, already our horses. Meet me at the inn. Give him a drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Girl, you can come out now. Come on. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. Well, I've, I've not, miss, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. Ha 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 ha! We've a hero in our midst! You've earned yourself a barrel of Lyrian! I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. 
Sound about right? They ran from me, didn't they? Lying prick! Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Botch things on the prowl. Get back. Child. You know I had to. You were supposed to lift the curse. Save it, damn you, not kill it. Do anything stupid and I'll kill you too. Go plow yourself. Kill me if you must. I've nothing to live for anyway. You've got another daughter and a wife, and the botchling's blood will help me find them. What... what will you do with that blood? Me? Nothing. Just hope that Peller knows what to do with it. Go home. I'll come see you once I know something. I have a bad feeling about this. T.R.L. not recognized. Destroy the intruders. Shit. Horace! 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 Stop telling me what to do. I 
wonder how long you lost. sad story, but something's not right. Got a feeling. What is it? You're not telling me everything. You know the island's dangerous, but refuse to tell me about the monster that lives here. There is no monster. I can't help you. Taking anything off this cursed island, from any cursed place, just too dangerous. And a dead woman's bones, that's asking for trouble. They said witches are heartless beasts. Will you bring Graham here then? I so long to say goodbye. Annabelle, listen. You never wish to help me, and here I have someone would finally take pity on me. Stupid woman. yourself had to fight a pester a pester and did you learn how to lift the curse before you lunged at her sword in hand yeah we talked a bit looks like i need to get her beloved to the island fisherman named graham i know the man he lives in Oriton, village on the lakeshore find him immediately we're close to unraveling this i can feel it You've returned for me. Is... is... is that...? Don't you recognize me? It's me, Annabelle. The one you abandoned, remember? Annabelle? I... I was sure you was dead. If I'd known otherwise, I'd never have left you. I'd do anything for you, I would you. You know that well, believe me, I beg you. Prove it. Kiss me. Graham, careful. Lost. 
So, found what you were looking for? Yes, thanks for asking. How are you feeling? Sleep well? You used me. Oh, please. I merely seized an opportunity. If I'd known you just wanted Alexander's notes, I'd never have helped you lift the curse from Fike Isle. All right. Perhaps I wasn't completely honest. Didn't quite toe the line. But I knew you'd manage. You're so manly and all. Geralty Poo. Wipe that frown off your face. Or I might think you don't like me anymore. I don't. You're a vile, two-faced, four-tongued viper. Oh, Geralt. Shame you didn't talk that way when we fucked. All jokes aside, what are you gonna do with those notes? Do you really believe you can call me names and then revert to polite conversation just like that? Get out of my sight, before I give in to my urge to teach you some manners. I'll go as soon as you hand me those notes. Then you shall stay here forever. You are foolish to cross me! Didn't have to end this way. Why have you come? Why spill this blood? Are you here to grant me death? Or is my freedom your wish? You claim to be imprisoned. How so? I am bound here. In fetters of magic. I wandered endless, a labyrinth of thieves, the children, I know all, I know what greets them, free me please, I must tell. If something threatens the orphans, I'll help them myself. The children have been taken, free me please, I come the gear, a gallop unchained. I shall see them. Only I can. I don't believe you, spirit. Too many claim you are evil. Your words alone, not enough. Dare me. And against you will rise. All the powers of nature. I lost. Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. Ah! It landed right in front of us. I thought we'd breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we were! Oh, flowing the trees! Down the trees!
can't leave him like that. We need to talk. It's Nalan! Lycanthropy can afflict anyone, but it is a curse, so sorry, but I have to. You don't understand! I love him! He was near to being mine till you came along! Go away! Leave us be! Not till I find out what's going on here. I love him! Always have. Even after I'd learned his secret. You... You knew? Did you know I shot myself in here to wait out me change? I knew, and I didn't mind. But you chose Hannah. I wanted her to see you. I wanted her to fear you. She'd not have stayed. And we could be together. You brought her here. That night. It was the reason I had the taste of blood in me mouth come morn. I did it for us. She was to see you turn, not more. I didn't want her death. You've got to believe me. I don't. And I'll kill you willingly. First time for that, in fact. This is between the two of you. I refuse to meddle, but cross my path again, and I will kill you. No! Mercy! You have no mercy for your sister. I'll have none for you. <laughs> Told you I'd kill you. I know as well what you said. Do it. If you want death, find some reins and a tree with a strong limb. Wouldn't work. Couldn't do it. Always been a coward. Do it. Please. Thank <laughs> you. 
a woman. There she is. Right on cue. clearly went out of his way this time. Good to start with. I must know your work. Facing down beasts, sleeping under the stars. Oh, it must be wonderful. Hmm. Try fighting a zoogle while up to your neck in sewage. Nothing quite like it. Not one of the high points, I suppose. Wait, weren't you about to ask me something? Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. Friendly chat. Friendly? Nothing further from the truth. 
This racist here has demanded to search me, for no reason at all. You's a non-human, I need no other reason. Lucky I didn't find anything on you. Now piss off to the woods, go play your flute. That was some pretty bad acting. Really ought to explore other career options. Petty theft, maybe. You dare insult an officer on duty? Let me give you some advice, mutant. Look who's talking. I know you're a Doppler and a kleptomaniac. Merchants put out a contract on me. <sighs> Always the same old shit. Hey, wait. Really want to see an angry witcher. Do you? Damn, I look old. Please, stop. I surrender. Might be able to look like a witcher. It won't make you fight like one. You're donning your skins enough to know what kind of man you are. What you feel. I don't kill him, true. But then not everybody applies my rules, and not everyone's got my conscience. So start stealing somewhere else. Far from Novigrad, preferably. Golden Age of Dopplers ended here a while ago. I know. But I thought they'd not catch me. I thought myself too smart. Serves me right. Might have learned this lesson the hard way. Time to go. Somewhere far away. But first, take this as a token of my gratitude. So long, Witcher. You can hear him phantom my ass. It's a hound of the wild hunt. How the hell did it end up here? Roach will run you down. Come on, Roach. Have you come to kill me? You shouldn't have come here. Who ordained so? It's a human city. Belongs to them. And I protect them from the likes of you. So it's true what they say about witches. You're but murderers for hire. You're not Reynold. 
My observant, albeit a tad slow. I have no control. Sorry, you have to cut it down. You leave this mine. Oh, but I will. You are the weaker witcher. Kill you, then spread for your viscera. deal with the Miasma. died centuries ago. Body didn't decompose, though. Likely slowed by the miasmal. Strange. Never seen armor like this before. And the medallion. A wolf's head, but flat. Uh, Osman finally sent someone. Seems the gods remember this damned veil after all. And you... You have my thanks. I can't believe it's gone. There were moments when I didn't know if I was me or the miasmal. Maybe I was both. Maybe neither. No need for thanks. Should mention, though, wasn't Osmond who sent me. Priest of the Eternal Fire did. I got company.
Let's dance. It. We must return to the feast quickly before... <laughs> Summon and tame the djinn. It's not likely to be happy. Stand at the ready. Tame djinn. Riff kaishta en gaya. Kaishta et disglair. Devered me castle. over. Yes. It's all over. Maybe we should sit. You look a bit dazed. I'm not, but we can sit. Feel any better? I told you, I'm fine. Don't need to play tough for me. That was a hard fight. Maybe not as hard as the last time we tamed a djinn, but still. <laughs> no comparison, I'm afraid. Half of Rhind suffered then. Now I'm merely a bit tired. Thank you for coming, Geralt. I'd have had a much harder time of it on my own. Well, never could say no to you. Hmm. Perhaps that will change now. Feel anything? That anything's... Different? Hmm. I expected... I don't know what I expected, actually. A bit of vertigo, perhaps. I thought... you'd become a stranger to me. That I'd look at you and not feel a thing. 
But it's not like that at all. Nothing's changed. Jen might have cheated us after all. Why? Because I don't feel that anything's changed either. I love you, Yen. And I love you. Was that? It can't be all sweetness and light. Strange. Done that so many times. But it felt like our first kiss to me. It was in a way. Besides, once you say I love you, a kiss has to taste differently. Maybe we ought to test a few other things. Amos's cabin looked cozy. Not so fast, Geralt. We'll have plenty of time to visit cozy cabins later. But I doubt the world will end if we sit here a while. <sighs> My, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Think the spirits of Skellige favor us. gone. I can't see it. I saw it. Saw it sink into the ground. Into the ground? Must have weakened it enough so it hid deep within its lair in the guts of the house. Listen carefully. I gotta go downstairs. Finish off the heim before it regenerates. Don't move. It's over. Over? I killed the Heim. You're free. Let's get out of here. 
Look! There! It's him! I see it. Now shut your mouth and go light the fire. Remember, you fail, the penitent will kill me and come for you. Hurry up. Don't know how much longer I can manage this. Did it work? It did. Still don't know what brought the penitent here, though. You'd best be careful. I'd gladly thank you with words and gold. It's just my coin pouch is empty. I know the feeling. So long. Say, I'll make remains. 
weapons if you need. Voltaire, you whore son. <laughs> you finished? Let's move. Sisters said you would come. They saw you arrive in the water's surface. 
They did not see the girl. But she is with you, is she not? I'm here alone. A lie which will change nothing. First you, then her. A fight like this. The Witcher you slew. Thing. Come all that way to give me my medallion? Thanks. Craft Solidarity is alive and well. <laughs> but our craft's reputation is on its last legs. Folk won't easily forget that massacre. Occupational hazard. Could have happened to any one of us. Well, what are you still doing here? You won't leave here alive, not after what you did. Ah, uh, don't I even get a chance to explain? This isn't a trial. Stand up. Hmm. Awful chivalrous. A regular defender of the downtrodden. So mind if I have a dose of swallow? Come on, I'm injured. It'll even the odds a bit. From what I saw, uneven odds are what you like. Yeah, but only when they're in my favor. Sorry, not this time. Draw your sword. The soil lie right up on you. Should get back to the kid before something else slips.
Once was it made from Vicar Varro. Tight at night she'd be loose come morrow. Her lie in the morning. Another made from Vicar Varro. Cloud with pleasure, drank with sorrow, till her lie in the morning. Everyone to Get me! A can to me. It. I'll try another verse. Standing her lie in the morning. What's the meaning of this? Such rudeness and vulgarity, young people these days. All right, all right. Sheesh. Medic's running late, Knowles. Easy, I know her. She'll show. Soon as she does, a few spades as well. It's going to the hut by the river. Say out, man's, but they wham a wham troll rocks. So troll wham too. From what you say, they were asking for trouble. I'll let it slide this time, but kill any other humans, and I'll come back and cut off your head. Understand? No, words are words, many hurt it. Let me try again. Wham a wham man's again. I'll swish a swash a swunk you. No. No more troll wham. And this man take for be good man and no swish a swash.
must be the place. You can come out. I've seen your plan. Besides, I can hear you. One of you's wheezing like a broken bellows. Another's panting frantically like a deer caught in a trap. And the third should really take something for that throat. I'd try time extract. Someone care to explain what's going on here? What's going on is that you're down there, a wear up here. That's a situation I can fix quickly. Richie thingy no gum gum. The pounding witchy thingy swoop man. That's right. We've caught you. You're at our mercy now, and we're none too merciful. Oh, really? Fact is, I could just turn around Hold and. Hold it, hold! Richie thingy gum gum shucky. Well, swoop man. I wonder why he's not already in that shrimp. You were to kill him. <sighs> what? We never said nothing about killing. Not a thing. We were just supposed to scare him. So Richie thingy has scary thingies. Make him no touch us. I believe you misunderstood. <sighs> He's a murderer, like the rest of them, like the one who killed my Adalia. <sighs> <clears throat> Awful sorry about your wench. We all are. A doubler. But this Witcher didn't kill her, and we can't very well punish him for another's crime. He has much to answer for, too. <sighs> I heard he killed a Korid in Tucson. But he spared a golden dragon. So what? What about Verena, the Bruxa with the fondness for blue roses from Nazaire? He showed her no mercy. <sighs> Verena killed many an innocent. I had to do something, but I've helped monsters aplenty. Yes? Who? Morkvarg, the werewolf of Freya's garden, lifted his curse and let him live. Werewolf like you? Witchy thingy like were thingies. Oh, you hurt too, maybe. Don't make me laugh. That's not nearly enough. <sighs> Salma, a succubus in Novigrad, let her go free even though I knew she'd killed some guardsmen. You mean, even when you know a monster's killed someone, you don't hurt them? If it had good reason, yeah, sometimes. You see? He's not that bad. We should let him go. Let him go? No! So he can track us down and butcher us? I won't hurt you. I don't kill sentient creatures. You lie. Every witcher is a murderer. <sighs> I kill monsters, true. It's my job. But only when they threaten humans. You hate us! Hate us all! Humans hate you all. Because they don't know you. Don't know which of you are dangerous and which want to live in peace. Only witchers stand between you and humans. We know both worlds. Protect both. We kill dangerous monsters so the thinking ones can live in peace. So you say now, as you stand there, scared. You know we have the upper hand. Ha, ha, ha. You don't. Could have killed you all long ago if I'd wanted to. I believe him. We should let him be. I'm all for it. To my thinking, he's telling the truth. Let witchy thingy go. Ah, fools! Gullible as newborns! A just witcher, a kind witcher, a lying witcher, he fiends it all, all humans lie. Let it rest, this is not the way, you shan't bring Adalia back. No! Stay here, I'll finish this alone. <sighs>
like that silver. You were right. Monsters are like men. Some are good, some are bad, and still others simply lost. It's a right shame. I was different once. Should never have let him talk us into this. Here, a little something from us. So you'll remember not all monsters are dangerous. Thanks. Lair to lick its wounds. Need to track it down. Won't get away this time. Wyvern. Don't usually come this big. It's feasted plenty, I reckon. Attacking those traveling the road. What do they call ye, master? Geralt of Rivia. Geralt of Rivia. It'll be a tale to tell the young'uns. I want to help you. Forgive me, but I just don't believe you. Gotta be kidding me.
Stop squirming. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be long dead by now. What do you want? To torment me? To watch others do so? I need your help. Betray me, and I will... Relax. Not planning on it. Triss is outside. She'll explain everything. Open up! I command you to open the door! You needed merely to ask. Settles the score. And that was from the heart. Forgive me. I could not deny myself the pleasure. How did she? Where? Why? How the fuck? Eavesdropped on us, back at the warehouse. What? And you didn't think it worth mentioning? Lads, the time to discuss this is later. Radovid is dead. It matters not by whose hand. Mission accomplished. Now let's get the hell away. Place will be thick with Redanians in minutes. Let's go. Is it done? It's done. Though all did not go according to plan. More on that later. First a stiff drink and a toast. The North. Tamaria. Tamaria! Bloody Tamaria! Tamaria. Ah. What now, Roach? A new guerrilla campaign against the Black Ones? No. The war just ended. How's that? There's something I don't know about? I'd say so. You see, tomorrow at noon, the commander of Army Group Center will sign a truce in Amir's name. A truce whose wording we agreed with Dijkstra. So back there in Velen, when the trolls nabbed you? Yes. I was returning from the last round of talks. Amir will keep Edion and Lyria, but in exchange for Radovid's head and a stop to guerrilla activities, he will withdraw from Tamaria, which will become the Empire's vassal state. Self-ruled internally, with its own courts, administrative structures and army. The silver lilies will bloom neath the rays of the great sun. So I say were I a poet, but I'm not, so all I'll say is there was no other fucking way. Haven't told me the whole truth. You're right on that account. We know you're bloody allergic to politics, decided to emphasize mages and whatnot. If it were done when tis done, then twere well it were done quickly. That but this blow might be the be-all and end-all here. What's that? Vakmeth, Act 1, Scene 7. Always wanted to play that. Never cast as anything but a halberdier. Geralt, what Tala told you, put it out of your mind. There will be no truce with Nilfgaard. Redania, under my enlightened rule, will fight on until it wins. And when it does, it will unite all the North, including Temeria. What? Ow! This is not what we plough and agreed. True. Instead, we insisted on one realm's questionable sovereignty. And to recover it, we gave Amir virtually all the North's other kingdoms. It was not a wise arrangement. 
So, no deal. You two-faced horseman. I will not allow this. Actually, you, Roach, should be the first to understand I've no choice. Why the hell would I understand? Because you two are a patriot. Geralt, this doesn't concern you. You may go. Fare thee well on your path, or what not. Can't let you kill them, Dijkstra. Oh, hard luck. Then you'll die with them. Kill them all. Let's dance. Bloody hell! Bugger me sideways! That was close. Very close. It's hardly over. The envoy, due to meet the Nilfgaardians tomorrow. No doubt Dijkstra ordered him killed. We'll need to protect him. Sorry, you're on your own, I... You've had your fill of politics, I understand. Once it's over, come to Vizima. You'll be received with honors. Farewell, Wolf. Zerel, I await.
Any last words? Shut your trap! And fight! You had your chance. I was hoping you'd come. Because? I've something to tell you. But I'll do so afterwards. As you expire. Show me what you have. against each other, and he is made off with Cerula. I don't believe you.
to spare you? I think you will not attack one unarmed. Wouldn't be so sure. I'm in a foul mood. I am not your foe. I am merely helping Cyrilla. I don't believe you. Can't. Not after all that's happened. Will you believe me? Avalark speaks the truth. I asked him to help me open the tower. Because I aim to enter it. Why the hell would you do this? The Wild Hunt's been defeated. The White Frost has not. The prophecies are true. I have seen worlds bound in ice. I know what awaits you. Only the Elder Blood can stop the White Frost. Only I can stop it. This sacrifice. You're wrong. The White Frost is inevitable. It will come to freeze the worlds one after the other, eradicating all life. Only I can stop the destruction. I've given it much thought and made my decision. There's gotta be another way. What can you know about saving the world, silly? You're but a witcher. This is my story, not yours. You must let me finish telling it. Good luck, Siri. Perhaps I should have told you. I see now you might have understood. Know you better than you think. Don't keep me waiting. The gentleman will follow. Okay. What 
would those poor elves ever do to them? Captain! Report. The Novigrad delegation is half a day's travel from here. But they truly are Russian. Return to your post. Yes, sir. What of Novigrad's hierarch? What of him? Will he get his well-earned rest, or be sent straight to Dan Ruach? At his end, the journey will be ill-advised and costly. His Imperial Majesty of Ace. Tis sure if I... Enough. Speak. Siri is dead. How did it happen? The white cold. You're familiar with the prophecy? Siri tried to stop it. She did, but paid the ultimate price. Where is the body? I doubt it'll ever be found. Who else knows? Avalach, Elven Sage. But I doubt you'll find him either. And Yennefer? She's decided to stay in the north. Provided you don't object. I don't. And you? Plenty of work for witches after a war. I'll travel east, maybe north. Did Cyrilla say... Did she ask you to convey anything? She regretted not getting a chance to say goodbye. Did she tell you this? Really? Didn't have to. She wanted to make peace. I know that. If there's nothing else... There is, but you may go. Witcher! I do not wish to see you... ever again. Need help with your wagon? I think we'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, you betcha. We'll manage. True, the barrels are ample, but we shall pour some off of each soon. Change is coming. True, no denying it. Nilfgaard flees, yet here it seemed nothing could move them. Left their wine behind too. That's generous. Sure you don't need any help? I believe we will manage. Where are you headed? Nearest inn, by the looks of it. Yeah. Supposed to meet someone first, at the former campsite of the Nilf Guardians. You take care now. Master Ort. Hmm. Probably got held back. You're late. Soldiers. Blocking the roads, I know. No matter. You have it? As agreed. Thirty-eight and a half inch blade. Weight, just under forty ounces. Silver-plated siderite steel core. Glyphs and runes both the length of the blade and on the hilt. Beautiful. 
Been in this trade for three decades. Only the best swordsman of the coin for my wares. When I say no Witcher has, or ever had, a better weapon, you ought to trust me. Reputation precedes you, Master Ord. I'd never doubt you. The inscription, as you asked. Zirael. Swallow. Classic Elder Speech runes. No styling. Simple and precise. May I? It is yours. If you'd like to test it, had my lackeys put out a training dummy. Mm-hmm. Your payment. Gems only, as requested. If you've an eye out for work, heard a Strigger's prowl in the Maribor Forest. Thanks. Need to visit the tavern first, but after, who knows? Good luck on the path, Witcher. Is it done? Yes. Did he believe you? I have no idea. For the cockatrice. And we've a new contract. It won't pay much, but I think it's worth the toil. You've been busy. It's yours. A witch's sword. Swallow. Oh, beautiful. May I? Not here. You'll have ample opportunity soon enough, Witcher. Let's try it out then. soldiers and aristocrats alike. Though their mutiny had only been a murky plan, the Emperor showed no mercy, as was his wont. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellige bloomed under Ceres' enlightened rule. Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores, looking instead to her people, tending to her land. The island foundation trusted. Though its fangs of yore would tell. Sevilla, Fiona, Ellen, Rihanna, heir to Nilfgaard's throne, chose the life of a witch. Geralt taught her all he knew, every skill he possessed, then each set off on their own. Soon, word of the ashen haired witcheress had spread throughout the north, from the Yoruga to the mountains of Kogi. And what of Geralt, you might ask? Well, he continued on as before, giving hand to mouth, job to job, on the road, ever pointless. We would meet at times over a glass of strong drink to talk about the old days and speculate what could have, would have, might have been.
Gather rush, I'll root. Didn't bargain for no storm. But fear that means a tidy jump in my feet. To a fear, get us safe. The king's reward will be generous. What about the prisoner? Before the king, we must bring him. On doing so, my honor relies. Can we just bring your king the bastard's head? Like we do with the other? The other drought. We could do nothing. We deliver lie, this one. Apart from all else, the hell the king is sure to condemn him to. I wish to see. What kind of hell? Mahari, slaying, and watering. This is bloody rich. Can't plow him believe me ears. You switch your brains with your cock or something. Get your mutant with your ass out of here. Or... Or I'll kill you! Go ahead. Try. Whoa, whoa. What the bloody hell's this? Geralt, have you decided to play defender of the downtrodden? More like gutter of sons of bitches. Long as I'm here, you'll gut no one. That a challenge? Why not? I've not fought a witcher before. Defeat me and I shall let him go. Stand aside. Would you wait, sir, for the dribble to subside? Makes no difference to me. Just as I said. Stunt. Fight.
Well struck, Witcher. You win. But perhaps you'd care to tell me why you meddled in a matter not yours. I wanted to prevent for the bloodshed. Well, well. The Witcher with the heart of gold. Unsavory as it seems, there is a silver line. At least you now know I don't easily lose my head. Release him. Get off cheap meat. You don't know who you're fucking with. On the contrary, I know all too well. Yeah. Yuld? Greetings, brother. Been years. Well, well. Complications, complications. Right. Should have known. Same eyes, same double chin, same rotten heart. Just one question. This family reunion? What's the point? Revenge. For betrayal. Years of poverty. Humiliation. Father left the auction house to me in his will. Horst cheated me. Had me disinherited. Anything. Everything we earned, you squandered on cards and whores. Father didn't see that. I did. That's no excuse, Horst. And it won't save your life. You two, stand with me. I'll not let the Redanians lay a hand on you. Give you whatever you want. Generous offer, Horst. Believe I'll take it. What? How dare you? Hate to be taken for a ride. Said that from the start. Should have treated it seriously. Well, hard not to agree with that. Sorry, Yuld. You see? All have turned against you. Once again. This time for the last time. Yet to be seen. I'll not go quietly. Even your accomplices have turned against you. But not I. A brother once, a brother always. I'm prepared to forgive you. Is that so? On one condition that you acknowledge me as head of the family and bow before me. I might have fallen prey had I not known, but I do you all. The bad shilling that always turns up. Bathe and dress him for the funeral. Something presentable. I'll not have him bring me more shame. Not about to meddle. 
Especially not in family matters. Then you'd have done better not to break into my vault. I fear it's too late to turn neutral. Stand with me, and I shall drape you in gold. Stand against me, and you'll remain here forever. If that's your attitude, I'll stand with you, old. You'll pay for that, Quintal. With your head. At them! Ah! Stay in formation! Oh, damn it. Ow! Pathetic. I'd have preferred to resolve this elsewise. Stolen the scrolls, thrown you out into the street. Revenge is best served cold, after all. But I don't mind serving it hot. No. I beg you, mercy for your brother. I shall do anything you ask. Truly. Anything. Anything. Sign over to me. All if you want. Then walk out as you stand. Just the clothing on your back. Allow me one thing, any one thing. Fifteen years in the sewers. Like a beast, and you the cheek to plead. Satisfied? Exceptionally. You? No. And I won't be until I find Max Brasotti's house. In this vault, or so you said. And it is. There. But I fear it's not yours for the taking. You see... It houses my father's will. A scroll thanks to which Ewald Borsodi, long missing, will assume family fortune. And Geralt of Rivia, who you cheated, what'll he assume? Alas, but he's free to choose anything else. You tricked me. And you were prepared to let me face Horst's thugs alone. To my mind, we're even. Now, Max Borsodi's house, if you've absolutely got to have it, you'll need to take it from me by force. Hmm. Dumb. But have it your way. Let's make this quick before the soldiers get down here. At your service, mate.
laid out in rows like garden beds. Hey. Hear me? Thief. Bodies mutilated. Who are you? that no eyes or nostrils deformed organs damn thing had no right to be alive as I am with my blade, especially now, when an icy fort grips my heart. I see how you look at me, and I see you with her. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in hell, and remember but the good times, Olgir.
有那么困难。Strange choice of locale. Guessing there's a reason for it. You're an art lover. Thought you'd appreciate the place. A witcher with aesthetic sensibility. Forgive my disbelief. But since we're here, I believe you have something for me. Fulfilled the third wish. How do I know this to be the rose? Very well might have picked this up at the Oxenfurt market an hour ago. Look closely at it. Got it from Iris. It was the last thing that bound her to this world. What? I think... think she loved you. Meant this as a token of that love. She loved me? After all that's passed. Iris. What a mess we made of it all. If I'd only known then how it would end. What's happening? I feel as though... As though... A hot iron's pierced my chest. Sorry to have kept you waiting. So glad to see everyone's... How do you feel, Von Emmerich? A little less troubled? Lighter on the heart? Or dim? What do you want? What do you mean, what? Your soul. You forget. The pack states you can take it only once you fulfilled three wishes and... And we stand together on the moon. You know. What? No. We... We had a pact. The moon is there. There! Not here. I gave you what you wished for. Here, on the moon, our contract you fulfilled. You cheated me. I never cheat. Wait. Do not interfere, Witcher. Remember what I did to the last fool who interrupted me. You grant wishes, right? Grant mine and release him. He must repay his debt. Let him go, and I'll take it on. We'll call it mine. You wish to give your soul for his? No, but we can play for them. I lose, you take mine and all Geert's. But if I win, you release us both. What do you propose we play? 
Gwent? Don't know. Maybe we can bet on a challenge. You know I'm good at accomplishing the impossible. See me do it. Hmm. Very well. But we shall do this my way. What's happening? You wish to play, so let us play. I shall tell you a riddle. Solve it, and both you and Olgird will be free. And if I don't? <laughs> then we'll all three go for a wild ride. It's what you proposed, is it not? The riddle. Let me hear it. To all things and men I appertain, and yet by some am shunned and disdained. Fondle me and ogle me till you're insane, but no blow can harm me, cause me pain. Children delight in me, elders take fright, Fair maids, rejoice and spin. Cry and I weep. Yawn and I sleep. Smile and I shall grin. What was that supposed to be? You tell me. What am I? You're going down. We shall see, my friend. You must find me before the sand in the hourglass runs out. Ready? Let's begin. What is this place? <laughs> you like it? Plenty more where it came from. Just remember... You must find me before time runs out.
So, any better? Yeah, thanks. Wine's revived me a bit. This plonk could revive a corpse. An exquisitely rank vintage. You know what, though? It's good at last to taste something real. So, have at it. Tell me what the blaze has just happened. Your brand's gone. Guessing that's a good sign? First off, you tell me what it's like to have a heart of stone. <sighs> it's wonderful at the start. You feel no fear, no angst, but also no concern. No care for anyone, not even those you loved. And gradually, you lose them. Well, you know how it ended. What about your senses? Taste, smell? All there. At first, I savoured the world like never before. It was stronger, more clear. How's that possible? I did not wish for a heart of stone. That was a mere side effect. I wished to win back Iris's hand and have my fortune restored. And then to live like there was no tomorrow. And thus I lived until... until I ceased to feel anything at all. What a joy to be done with it. Because I am done, right? Will you tell me what happened? Odim decided to have some fun at my expense. Devised a game I was supposed to lose. Seems he'd forgotten the training you put me through in doing the undoable. So only to protect myself. In doing so, I put you in harm's way. Forgive me. <sighs> well, don't have to worry about him anymore. You're safe and free. I thank you. Though I've no notion what to do with this freedom now. Mira took everything. Everything I loved. All I held dear. Not true. Got your heart back. A bitter victory. Now at last I sense how much I've lost. I have a heart again, yet all it feels is grief, sadness, and defeat. My life is a ruin. You've handled tougher situations. You'll figure this one out. Got a company of faithful comrades waiting. Got a home, your fortune. No. I cannot live as I did before. So what'll you do? I don't know. But one thing's clear. It's time I took fate into my own hands. Lived life anew. And truly, this time. Sounds like a plan. I'll never forget what you did for me, Witcher. I have something for you. accept this. You can, and must. This saber's been in my family for generations. Even when I'd lost all else, it remained at my side. Means a great deal to me. All the more reason why I can't take it. Do me the honor. This'll mark the start of my new life. And such a weapon could be right useful to you. Thank you. Ow! Sorry. You needn't be. I thank you again, Geralt. And good luck on the path. Good luck to you too.
Toussaint, the land of love and wine. Exactly how I remembered it. You will find Beauclair has changed some these past years. Walk about when you have the chance. You will see for yourself. To me, place always seemed straight out of a fairy tale. Knights errant, elven palaces. You insinuate that we are somehow odd? I shall prove you wrong. This I pledge on the Heron! Single-handed, none too wise. Neither is love born of wisdom, Witcher. So, Guillaume, out with it. Which fair damsel inspired you to vow to kill that filth? The most beautiful among them. If he wishes to guard her name a secret, he need not reveal it. You I do not know, sir, nor seem you a knight, yet still I am profoundly grateful, nay, indebted to you for your succor. This trophy, sir, is yours. I'll take the trophy. Why not? Could find someone who'll pay to buy it. You... saw you at the inn. Why'd you kill these people? Clearly wasn't for their blood. We don't have to fight. You are wrong. I cannot let you leave.
I dedicate my imminent victory to fair lady Vivian. It's begun. The fight shall have to end first. We must wait. by Geralt of Rithia, master of the witchering trade. Behold, as the last gasps of life seep from the beast. Master Geralt, do what you must. Finish the deed! Monster's no threat. No need to kill it. A victor may always show mercy. It is his right. Long live Garrett the Merciful! Pikeman, see to the beast. I'm here. This belonged to you, maybe? It did. 
But you may keep it. I've a new one. I do not know you. I've done you no harm. Yet first you butchered a Bruxer who was dear to me. Now you pursue me. Why? You've killed four innocent people, at least. And you? How many innocents have you cut down? I don't kill innocents. Murderers, though, you bet. I'll soon be done. I've put one left. And you, should you not stand down? And once you're done, intend to leave? Go kill somewhere else? No. I intend to live uh. happily ever after. to stay where you are. Regenerate! I know you're in trouble. I can help. I'll help myself! No. He's my friend. It is time. Step into the arena. Should you suffer grievous harm during combat, have you any last wishes, any missives you wish passed to your loved ones? Thanks, I'm fine. The Witcher of Rithia, Geralt his name, though aged be his visage, do not disdain. His locks true are white, but he was born to fight. Now entering the grounds, a titan of infamy, Gregoire de Gorgon, victor of Lassie's tourney! I wish both combatants good fortune and fame! They seek the grounds, the titans lock the stairs, ferocious and sky as wolves hunting hares! Mesdames et Messieurs, our victor, our champion, the unequals, and silent, Gregoire de Gorgon! Hip, hip, hooray! Hooray! And now a few words from our sponsors. The Tupacu. For strong bones and deep, drink Tupo. A wine for your teeth, a wine for your soul. A sight to behold! He defeated Grégoire de Gorgon! Hail Geralt! Herald! As patron of this grand tourney, I have the honor to decorate our grand champion, whose vow he made upon the garter of her illustrious highness, Anna Henrietta. 
Doubtless the Duchess's grace carried him to the splendid victory. He showed great courage, great strength, great composure. He fought nobly with honor and thus rightfully deserves the title of this year's Champion of the Arena. I need to talk to you. Not now. We shall meet later in my tent. I have duties to attend to, as do you. Folk regard you. The least you should do is wave. Tinkling. Gonna hurt you. Wanna help? I've seen. 
seen the words of the curse on the walls. Think I know how to lift it. to bring folk here, convince them to sit at the table with you, right? Well, I'm gonna be your guest now. Your willing guest. safe. So I took her by the hand and led her here. Seemed the only sensible place for her. You did the right thing, sir. She should recover quickly here. Don't worry, sir. I shall see to everything. She is safe here and in good hands. She'll soon be back on her feet. Might actually take a while. She hadn't eaten anything in over a hundred years when I found her. Horrid. Whatever brought this about? Told me her story on the way here. Her name's Marlena. She was once the very beautiful and proud heiress to the Trastamara estate. One evening, when she was holding a banquet for friends, a beggar came to her gate seeking alms. He had a bowl and a spoon with him. He sat outside her fence and waited. I've heard of the custom. An ancient rite of hospitality that obliges one to give food and drink to such a guest lest he depart hungry. To neglect the custom is to bring great misfortune down upon oneself. Marlena didn't care a whit for the old customs. She drove the man off, saying she'd rather feed the leftovers from her feast to her dogs than to give the beggar anything. The beggar then broke his spoon, cast a curse. She was beautiful, so he said she'd never wish to look at herself in the mirror again, since she adored feasts. He swore no one would ever wish to sit and dine with her, and as she even refused him the crumbs from her table, he swore she'd never find a spoon in the world that would sate her hunger. A harsh punishment. I imagine lifting the curse was hardly simple. Curses are tricky. They play on irony. Always gotta figure out what the catch is. Marlena had spent decades looking for a way to lift it. Transformed into a white, she stole spoons and lured folk into her home, trying each time to get them to dine with her. Didn't work. So what did? Someone had to sit down and share a meal with her, of their own free will. 
They had to eat without using spoons and make her look at her reflection. That's it? That was all it required? Simplest solutions are sometimes the last that come to mind. Besides, when you're a white, it's pretty damn hard to find willing human company for a feast. I imagine so. But most importantly, it is now over. Please, don't worry. She will be in good hands here. None but feral cats stray in here most oft, yet it seems I forgessed from afar at that. What do you seek in my home? Already found it. You do not aim to lift the curse from the tree, girl, do you? What if I do? Then you had best know you waste your time. The old tales? Did your nan not tell them to you? Even I, the witch of Lynx Crag, would be hard pressed to overcome the power of love and longing. Refuse to help me, and I'll make you regret it. And force you to. Do you know what really makes my blood boil? Bluster, threats. Especially beneath my own roof. Wouldn't need to use either if you'd cooperate. How would I do that, given you will soon be dead? Akandal! Bested me. Tradition ordains I must grant you three wishes, it seems. You know exactly why I'm here. Very well. I will help you. Albeit I pity the lass not at all. I shall do what I can to break the curse that imprisons her soul in the tree. Why should I trust you? A word once given, I always keep. Now be gone. Leave me be. I can tend to the rest alone. Remember the deal we made. I have given you my word. I will keep it. Let you. Hear me, you who hide beneath this bark. Recall today who you really are. Behold a kerchief, proof of your love for another. What the demon happened there? My fault. Went about lifting the curse the wrong way. More like tore than freed her from her prison. Shock was too much. Released all the rage and pain that was in her. Blimey, man. I suppose that's what I get for hiring a bungler. At least the lady's pain is done. She'll suffer no more in the tree. Now take your coin and go. <laughs>
My goodness! How I enjoy a good bug for cheap. You're not a complete bug. Time. Then draw your blade. This is my favorite part of the uh. Proven worthy of wielding the blade, beyond all doubt. Behold. Your Arendite. We've met before. Certainly. The Hermit admitted he knew you, remember? The Lady of the Lake. It is I. Forget not that you are a man right and honorable, devoted to doing good. And for these reasons you received the blade. Now bear it. And I trust this time you shall not lose it. Why the bum sweat? Given you no choice. Why the bum sweat did you come here? You stand no chance against us. Not good. By my troth, the damned brute was sturdy. I, I'm grateful, Witcher. You aided me greatly. High time you returned to Beauclair, brave knight. Nay, oh, nay. The head of this beast is a trifle, wholly inadequate to express the love I harbor for my betrothed. The world awaits. Uh, to honor her, I shall cut down another, more terrible beast. Take my advice. Grab the damned head and cut the shit. I beg your pardon. That I wish to make my beloved's name known the world over to bring her glory. Shut up and listen. Crests, scrap metal armor, swooning damsels. All that's nothing to do with hunting monsters. Witches work. Damn hard, dangerous, and thankless work that you're just not cut out for. 
Find some other way to prove your valor. Only thing you've proven so far is that you're a fool. You do not mince words, Master. In Tucson, one might demand satisfaction upon trampled ground, for a lesser slight. Yet, there is truth in what you say, I cannot deny. I survived with my life by a hair. It is time... time I returned home. Beast has to die. We work together, we'll make quick work of it. After all I told you of your caste, you would murder her? Or oh, you will regret this, friend. I know folk. I shall tell them you slew the last surviving specimen. Sorry, Master de Salvares. Actually, not sorry. A monster's a monster. Silvery, plaid, or polka dotted, last or next to last specimen, doesn't matter. It's a dangerous predator that kills humans. Enough said. Herbalists, alchemists, I know many. They will despise you. I shall tell them of a heartless cur who cares not an ounce for balance in nature. You shall pay arms and legs for their wares. More! Somebody plug this lord in's gob, eh? Right, Master Witcher. How do we aim to fight the filth? We've crossbows. Comply with bolts while you do the act and slash. We'll all go at it as a bunch, blades and end, fire in our hearts. You decide. You're the one with experience. Use your crossbows, keep her on the ground. Good idea. Do you say her? It's a female, yeah. Hear that, lads? We've a learned witcher here. Hundred spans out, and he spotted what the lizard's got between its legs. <laughs> right now, lads. You've heard a specialist. Ready your crossbows. All good and fine, but the monster's not in its nest. Gotta track it down first. Not at all necessary, Geralt. We looked into it. Gave it a think. Traders use tannin to lure the beast. Who says we can't do the same? You got any tannin? Came into a bit, aye. Here, willing to do the honours? There. Grab your bellies! Shoot the bitch down! Like that, to fight to the true witcher's side. Prime the way you swung that razor, mate. Mention some fee from a guild. I hear you right. Ha! <laughs> witcher drives right for the gut. A professional, right thorough. Your share, friend. Every last copper as we agreed. We'll collect us a few of them silver scales and the tail. Proof for the guild, right?
and we'll get word of you to some folk. Merchant folk, meaning. They ought to treat you right. Thanks, and farewell. War this Detlef wants. It's war he shall have. Geralt, get to work. This time I'll hear no excuses. Palmer in you. <gasps> of shit. Then you open it! Now, who's this? A lost traveler? What's not supposed to be here, sweetie. Why, you're old. Old and pale. But never worry. A bit of butter, a bit of spice. And you'll make a tasty morsel. 
just as soon as I catch you. <laughs> you put that key? Listen, I... How'd you come by a weapon? It's Prince Charming's. He no longer needs it. Here it is. I will not talk to you if Little Red Riding Hood is not with you! Not a problem. Sienna can take her place. What? <sighs> Very well. It's not as if I can forbid you. <laughs> Grand Hotel! Come closer, sweetie. But Grandmama, what big eyes you have! They're better to see you with, my dear. Granny, what big arms you have. They're better to embrace you with, my dear. And Grandmama, what big teeth you have. Eh? They're better to eat you with, my dear. Joss said about the red bean. A human has it, and he definitely didn't swallow it. Mm-hmm. Gotta open his belly. Bottle caps, fake teeth, a corkscrew. Ah, here it is. Red bean. Admire the view later. First, we must deal with... ...him. Son of a wench. 
I told you this land had gone ape mad, though I did not expect it to be so severe. Can't help thinking you might have done that on purpose. Why ever would I have? To get rid of your guard, your captor. Getting close to the exit at this point. Probably think you don't need me anymore. Nice place, isn't it? Offers a lovely view of the valley. On a clear day, you can see the outlines of Duntine. Is it, though? A ruin like any other, I think. Ugh, oh, so sensitive. So aware. Honestly, what did Declaf ever see in you? Perhaps he'll tell you himself. Let's get ready. Dedloff will be here any moment now. deceived me or not. In forgiving you, I grieve. For now, we must part. What? But how? The ribbon? Seems I've been fooled again. She will pay for this sooner or later. She will pay! You never should have meddled with her! Thank <laughs> you. 
challenge any gods. Start playing now! Be gone. I can't let him. I insist.
The Witcher will speak with the inmate. You can take a momentary break. As long as it's truly but a moment. Highly irregular, this. Have you come to see how I fare? I'm fine, thank you. Artorius's Ripon worked wonders. It's a shame they took it from I me. I know who the fifth victim was supposed to be. Goodness, you're simply a compulsive snoop. I'm in prison. Deadlaf is dead. Could you not just drop it? Sienna, stop pretending you couldn't care less. I know it's an act, and it's really starting to wear. Why do you want to kill her? For such an accomplished investigator to ask about the obvious? Come now, Geralt. Why do you think? Because she turned her back on you, then banished all memory of you. Bravo, Geralt. Yet another riddle solved, and your sick curiosity sated. Well, what now? Off to share your discovery with Anna Henrietta. Though she's no longer in danger, true. But she very well might add a little something to your reward. Definitely gonna tell her. Not necessarily for the coin, though. Then why do it at all? She oughta know. If only cause you'll probably try to kill her again if she ever lets you out. I probably will. Perhaps, just for a second, you could stop dwelling on all the wrongs folk have done you, and forgive her? Why should I? For old time's sake. You loved each other once. <sighs> Please. I don't know who fed you that rubbish, but- Read your governess's diary. You played together, were inseparable. Honoria'd get you into trouble sometimes, sure. But there were also times she stood up for you. When you had nightmares, only she could calm you. Time eats away at memories, distorts them. Sometimes we only remember the good. Sometimes only the bad. If she loved me so, why did she wash her hands off me? Forget me, hmm? Sienna, you were exiled when she was how old? Twelve? Thirteen? She was a child. What was she supposed to do? Rebel? Organize a coup? Steal your father's seal and forge a pardon? She was powerless. Wiped you from her memory not because she didn't care, but because your departure was traumatic for her. She forgot because that was the only way she could handle the pain. Ugh. You meant what you said in the Land of a Thousand Fables. You really want a happy ending to this story, don't you? Ah, with all of us living happily ever after. Go, Witcher, or they'll give your medal to another. And that would be a shame. Farewell, Sienna. Manta de la Tour would like to see you. Shall we go at once? Let's go. Wanna see him too. Damien. Geralt! It's about time. Ready for the ceremony. All right. We can start. Very well. But you must behave. Less like a hired thug, and more like a man deserving of the Duchy's highest honor. In fact, you'd do best to maintain a dignified silence throughout. Let's begin the ceremony. Come with me. The Duchess awaits.
In the guild's name, I beg your assistance, your enlightened highness. Without barrels, production will come to a stop, and it will be the end of us. You lost them all in the fire. These are horrible tidings. Oh, we are most dreadfully saddened. Yes, your enlightened highness all. Once the beasts had clawed their way into the warehouse, the whole place went up in flames. I shall dispatch a palace guardsman to examine the site of the blaze. If things are as you say, fitting compensation shall be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Thank you, your enlightened highness. Your Grace, Geralt of Rivia has arrived. My dear subjects, we come now to our next point of business. Of all the duties which fall upon my shoulders, as the ruler of this dominion, this duty is dearest to my heart. For now, we shall award the Order of Vitis Vinifera, Tucson's highest honor. Geralt of Rivia, slayer of the Beast of Beauclair, step forth. We bestow the distinction upon the Witcher, who saved Beauclair from the terrible beast. Such is our desire. May this symbol serve as a reminder to all that the Witcher shall forever remain a friend of Beauclair. In more familiar terms now, I thank you immensely, Geralt. Damien has your reward for you. After all, it was but a contract. Thank you. I have a small surprise for you, in addition. I give you more than a dozen barrels of Son Real, a wine normally reserved for the ducal table. The gustatory experience of a lifetime awaits. Are you content? I am. And truly grateful, Your Grace. Sadly, I'm afraid I have to sour the mood. It's Sianna. She plotted to have you killed, Duchess. Planned to use Dedloff. You were to be the Beast's fifth victim. This cannot be true. You're mistaken. You must be. I have proof. I do not believe it. In a moment I shall speak to Siana. Will you assist me? You returned my sister to me, yet what you tell me now I find devastating. I've come to doubt that I can judge her fairly. I'd far prefer to learn your mistake, mistaken, Geralt. I'm not. In fact, I'd recommend you be particularly careful around her. You exaggerate, Witcher. She is my sister. I know well how to speak to her. If my presence will help in any manner, of course I'll stay. We shall now question a person implicated in the murders which recently ravaged our fair city of Beauclair. Captain de la Tour, show Sylvia Anna in. The Witcher will take part in our talk. I'm not a prisoner. Free to do as I choose. You have committed crimes. Grave crimes. 
Yet you are my sister, and my heart does not allow me to treat you as a common criminal. Nor does it let me believe you sought my demise. My heart yearns to know you were swayed by the monster Detlaf. You yourself would never stoop so low. Thus I have asked Geralt to advise me, as one impartial. I shall now hear what he has to say. Your Grace, Siana's guilt is clear, none have cause to doubt it. But before you decide, you should hear her out. The right to a defense is hers, as it applies to all who stand accused. What is he talking about, Siana? You know exactly what. I was forcibly exiled, remember? To your benefit. You knew well the throne would then be yours, though I was the Elder. The ministers I can understand. They've hated me since I was a child, thought me a poor prospect for the wife of a duke. I even understand our parents. I'd always sent the problem. They simply feared me, for I dared to be free. That fabricated curse, it fell into their laps. A gift from above that brought relief. But you... Your dagger hurt most. You were my honorietta, dammit. My darling little sister. Now do you understand, Witcher? She betrayed me. Claim to understand them all? Why'd you come back for revenge? Have them all cut down, then? They deserved my vengeance. They detested me, all of them, as long as I can remember. But Honorietta understood me. Once. She was all I could cling to. Her betrayal hurt the most. You were children then. You and your sister both had no control over what happened. You're wrong, Witcher. She had control. Remember, dear sister, the day they banished me from the palace. Of course, I'd had the idea to pelt the Nilfgaardian envoy with fish bladders, which we filled with rancid suet on a lark, and which you set afire at the last to impress me, I imagine. And I admit, you did. Hit him right in his hideous bold patch. Never laughed so hard in my life. But when it came time to find the culprit, you said not a word. I took all the blame and all the punishment. It's true. I did not stand up for you. I was too afraid. The council was unanimous. They listed all my offenses, my flights from the palace, supposed acts of cruelty, inappropriate friendships. They cast me out, but you, the only one to understand me, you cowered in a corner, lifted not a finger to help. Not before, not after. You never tried to find me. That's not true. I searched for you. Sent out knights, gathered tidings from without. You did not wish to be found. Since the day you vanished, I have lived with the knowledge that I failed you. I'm sorry, dear sister. Can you forgive me? ceremony it was short perhaps for you as you ducked out early 
The others are probably just getting started. The drunkenness never ends in this quaint realm. Not so fond of Toussaint after all, are we? Oh, this place is like a strong wine, Geralt. Good in small sips. How do you find my personal brew? Not too strong. Just right. Credit the local mandrake of the Alrauna Diabolus variety for that. The tubers which grow in this area's volcanic soil have an altogether unique flavor profile and display a remarkably uncommon dark brown tint. Fascinating. All I can say is this batch turned out excellent. Indeed. It might be wise to stockpile some roots for the future. Would you care to accompany me? You decide to go root picking now? It's dark out. Ah, oh, Geralt. Even were I generously to assume it had simply slipped your mind that I am a vampire and thus need no light to see, I'd never believe you had also forgotten that you likewise have absolutely no trouble seeing in the dark. So, shall we? If you think it's a good idea, let's go. But I think you might be forgetting one thing. Fresh mandrake root of this variety is highly toxic, even to a witcher. Ah, not a problem. I never forget matters of safety and hygiene in alchemy. Here, gloves and a mask. Don them, and you shall be in no danger. Thanks. Right then, let's go. This moonlight makes me oh so dreamy. Penny for your thoughts. Let me guess. Succubus twins? No, I was thinking about... Oh, how anything can look interesting when properly lit. Even an old necrophage corpse? You've not an ounce of refinement in you, have you? Where'd you go? You raised your hand against the vampire! You shall die for that! I did what I had to do! <laughs> Say, they called you a traitor. Alas, we have a very simple code of honor, we vampires. So simple you might call it trivial. Either one is with us, unconditionally, regardless of the circumstances, or... Won't let it go, will they? They will not. Fortunately, we have another rule. An unwritten one, and just as trivial as the first. It is neatly summarized in the saying, out of sight, out of mind. That is why I must leave Toussaint. For a vastly long time, most like. Yeah, I get it. Oh, let us make for my camp. I've an overwhelming desire to have another drink. Mmm, supreme bouquet. Firm, defined beginning, then develops gently, rising to a, a startling finish. Don't you think? Not much of a connoisseur. Then it is high time you started your education. After all, the Corvo Bianco vineyard is now yours. By the way, I left a gift for you at your new home, on the nightstand. <laughs> Thanks. Mind telling me what it is? Ugh, a trifle. That will nonetheless be useful should you need mutagens. Incidentally, have you thought about what you'll do with your prize? Shall you hang your swords over the mantle and take to pruning vines? No, just not the life for me. Sure, might stop by there occasionally, stay the winter, fill up on wine. But I'd rather keep moving. It's not a choice being a witcher. And once you are one, you're one for life. You can't just step off the path. Besides, plenty of work left for me in the world. Ghouls aren't gonna kill themselves. Rather droll, isn't it, that each time we meet, something harrowing must happen? 
I can remember a night, not too far from here, if I'm not mistaken. We hid in a cave while a blizzard raged all about. Does that sound at all familiar? How could it not? we just set off to rescue Ciri from Vilgefortz. Oh, our encounter with Vilgefortz. That is something I do not remember so fondly. That first stain, Beauclair, far calmer than this one. Seemed like a land straight out of a fairy tale back then. Its sole problem, cellar's too small to accommodate all that wine. Appearances, Geralt. Appearances like Mamoons and Dopplers deceive. So what did become of Vilgefortz? Killed him. Sure wasn't easy, though. What about you? Any idea where you'll go? Distance is of the essence. I thought I might let you south. Nilfgaard? Why ever not? The Nilfgaardians are a modern society. None there believe in vampires anymore. This fact alone could be very useful to one wishing to remain incognito. Hmm. Interesting point of view. <sighs> I so don't feel like going anywhere. Sit here a while longer? So we shall, my friend. We have witnessed, and in fact on several occasions incited, many great and weighty events. After all that toil, I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. That we do. Master Witcher, some unknown individual barged into the residence. I resisted as best I could, but to no avail. Who is it? Alas, they did not do me the basic courtesy of introducing themselves. What's that smell? You look good. Come. Don't just stand there. I want a hug. What did you bring? A Garkin from Angren. I slew it. All by my lonesome. That why you left Carrera so suddenly? Had no idea where you'd gone. Your note was puzzling. Don't try to find me. Threw me for a loop. That was silly. It's just that I felt stifled in your shadow. I'd have suffocated had I stayed. So when I read that notice, the contract, when I saw Angren, I knew I had to do it. Alone. Without my nanny. I'm not your nanny. I believe in you. <laughs> like my new house? The house is lovely. But it could use a bit of work. Yeah, got plans for it, don't worry. Wanna go outside? Could show you the grounds. Ah, oh, it's lovely here. I could stay forever. What's stopping you? Actually, not a thing. I slew a Garkin, collected my bounty. I believe I'm owed some respite. Indeed you do, mademoiselle, as my major domo would say. <laughs> You've a butler? A steward. Name's Barnabas Basil. BB for short, though I don't know if he likes it. He's the one let you in. I'll ask him to bring in some fruit, a beverage. You can spend the rest of the day lying about. Ah, oh, nothing would make me happier. Being a witcher anything like you imagined? 
Gerald, I didn't have to imagine anything. Remember, before we parted, we walked a good stretch of the path together. Journeyman and master, though, not the same thing. I'm still a long way from mastering anything, but I am trying. Anyway, I did learn from the best. Just passed on what worked for me, or at least tried to. I was thinking of Eskel and Lambert. <laughs> so, no regrets? Choice you made? Not at all. I'm doing what I ever wanted to do. Being who I wanted to be. I believe that's one definition of happiness. Encountered the most charming aspect of being a witcher yet? Which aspect is that? The hatred, disgust, that strange blend of admiration, fear, and contempt. Hmm. They set their hounds on me in one village. In another, they forbade me from taking a drink from their well. Other than that, it's been all right. No one's tried to cheat me out of my reward so far. I'd hoped they'd treat a woman differently. Geralt, when they treat a woman differently in this world, it hardly ever means better. Quite the opposite. Engrin, how'd it go? Garkanes can be pretty tough opponents. That's why I had to lure this one to a place both spacious and empty, where it would have nowhere to hide. I found an abandoned crypt far from any town or village. Good choice. Always best to avoid additional casualties, so your foe had nowhere to hide. But the bastard was still damn quick, I bet. <laughs> Not as quick as I am. My greater worry was its strength. I was far outclassed there. But a dose of black blood did the trick. We fought a while, I feigned a mistimed dodge and let it drink. The rest was easy. See you later, Siri. Take care of yourself. 